Greetings lovely Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today I'll be eating Hungry. So this will be the third time I've eaten Hungry. If you list, I have two other installments of Hungry. I will put the links down below. You can check them out if you're interested. So this very compact package was sent to me from Little Miss D. Thanks so much Little Miss D for sending me this package of Hungarian treats and sharing more of your country with me. Just to respect people's privacy, I ask people to tell me what they would like to be called in one of these videos. And if they don't tell me, then I just use the first initial of their first name and add Mr. or Little Miss just to respect their privacy. Not everyone wants their name, even if it's just their first name, blurted out to the world. Okay. So thanks again, Little Miss D, for sending me this package of treats. She sent me a little note. And my apologies in advance for my poor Hungarian. So this one is called Bombonetti, Duna Kavix. And they're very charming looking kind of like candies, almost look like rocks. Here's one up close. And they come in different colors. Let's try the blue one. Hmm. They're just candy coated peanuts. Hmm. Very crunchy, hard, and sweet. Kind of lumpy, bumpy. And a roasted peanut inside. Very simple candy. Reminds me of some candy coated peanuts that I had in Madagascar. And look at this beautiful packaging. This is made by the Stummer, Stummer, and it's called Schlivas Betjar. Beautiful Hungarian colors. Oh my. Look at that. It smells alcohol. But I'm no longer pregnant, so I can have one. But it looks like a chocolate covered candy of some kind. <gasps> All right. It's a lucky moth. Hmm. Wow. It's a chocolate coated prune. It tastes a little bit alcohol. It tastes like there's some kind of brandy or something in there. And there's a prune inside. It has a very kind of soft, leathery, fruit leathery texture, but delicious. Rich, dark chocolate flavor. Reminds me a bit of a candy that I had in Poland. I'm sorry, but I forgot the name. It's called something like Little Piggy, Szilwalka or something like that, but delicious. This is a little bit moister inside than that one, but very similar kind of flavor profile. Delicious. Look at this. This is Telefaye. It looks like a little ice cream cone. And it looks like it's a wafer. And has a bit of chocolate in it. Let's taste it. Here we go. It's Lucky Malls. Hmm. Very interesting. The outside is just an ice cream wafer. Just like the ice cream wafers that you can find here in the States. And the inside has like a whipped kind of frosting in the middle. Slightly chocolate cocoa flavor. Quite sweet, but it tastes a bit like frosting. Melty, buttercreamy on your tongue. And not actually surprisingly overly sweet. Just a hint of chocolate. Very fun. Looks like kids would love that. Look at this, another chocolate. Melodia. It sounds like a good melody. Again, by the company Stomer. Oh, and it's chocolate, which is my favorite. Look, that's beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. There's a thin layer of wafer on the bottom, and the nut that you see that I cut is an almond. It's got a really lovely mouthfeel, very slippery and smooth chocolate, and then a nice roasted almond flavor in there as well. Delicious. I love it. This is Nature Cook. These remind me a little bit of Crembo in terms of just the gestalt that I ate in one of my Israeli videos. If I mention any of these other candies, I'll put all the links down below. To, if you're interested, you can find them there. Look, they're like little bonbons. So they're kind of similar to Crembo. Crembo are a little bit bigger, maybe twice as big. Crembo has a cookie at the bottom. This has a wafer. So let's see what's in the middle. All right. Huh. Very similar. There's like a whipped filling in the middle. Quite sweet. It's a bit like a whipped marshmallow. I'm not exactly sure what the flavor is. To be honest, it's slightly pink in color, so it makes me think it might be fruit, but I don't really detect any fruit flavor. This filling is actually quite similar to the little ice cream cone filling. It's a little bit like frosting. It's got kind of a very airy, whipped texture, quite sweet, um, but a little bit more kind of gelatinous than just, say, whipped cream. But a little bit too sweet for me. It has a very light chocolate coating and the flavor of chocolate isn't very strong, but very fun texture. 
Coco Savadas. And it looks like it's a coconut flavor. Can't leave some kind. Ooh, this looks like a coconut roll. Mmm. I'm not sure if it's chocolate actually. This actually tastes more like eggnog than coconut. Curious. The texture is quite crumbly. A little bit chewy. Similar to some snacks that I had in Sweden, like those cookies. Those oatball cookies. Very similar texture. Almost like a compressed brownie. But the flavor is very interesting. It tastes more kind of alcoholed than coconut. Not bad. Not my favorite, but not bad. Diana Skorka, Skorka. I had this in my last Hungarian video. Let's see if this one's a little bit different. This has a little bit of alcohol inside, and I think it's popular during Christmas time. But the last one I had was crystallized inside. Let's see how this one is. Mmm. Wow. This one is definitely liquid inside. <laughs> Boy, is that strong. So inside, it's amazing. It's minty, and there's a little bit of alcohol inside there. I'm no longer pregnant. I've had my baby about a month ago now, so don't worry. <laughs> it's got a crunchy, granulated sugar texture to it, and inside is like a minty liqueur. Very strong, but pleasant. It's a little brisk taste of winter or something. It's it's fun. The last ones I had were actually not liquid inside, so it's really fun to actually have the true version of it. Bombanetti, and this is Francia Drage, so I think this is another kind of Drage. And maybe these are like French Drages? I don't know, Francia. These are similar to like the peanut ones. They're candy coated, slightly irregular spheres in pink, yellow, kind of a fuchsia, and blue. And I don't know what's inside. What do you think's inside? Chocolate maybe? Mmm! I think so. Mm-hmm. They're like cichlids. Do you guys know cichlids? It's a candy that we have here in the States. Very light candy coating with a little ball of chocolate inside. Mmm! Feels very old-timey. The candy coating is actually not so brittle and hard and quite pleasant. And you get a little ball of chocolate. Very fun. I think these would make great decorations for cupcakes or something. Very cute. This is Arani Dessert. And this is again by Stomer. Ooh, chocolate. Wrapped in foil. Mmm. This one smells slightly liquid as well. Let's give that a taste. Mmm. There's marzipan inside there. Very nice. Sticky almond marzipan on the bottom and a beautiful fudgy chocolate top on there. More like a bonbon or a confectionery. Delicious. Very rich. So this is made by the same company and this is called Corfu Coca. And again, wrapped in this beautiful foil, this time in red. This one smells a little bit more like dark chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. That one's a little bit sweeter than the marzipan one. And I'm not sure what the flavor is. It just tastes very sweet. The texture is very similar to the Cocos Suarez one. Slightly like anise to me. Mm, not bad. Etzutz. Looks beautiful. This one's a silver one. Let's give that one a go. Mmm. This one too is marzipan. This one has a thicker chocolate layer. The chocolate layer is similar to some of the Estonian candies that I've had. It's kind of fudgy and very slippery in the mouth. Actually not very strong in chocolate flavor. Tastes a little bit of that almond. Slightly different flavor than the first one that I had, but in a way that I can't really quite tell. I think the first one tastes a little bit more liquor and alcohol than this one. This one tastes more just like marzipan. Quite nice. Look at this beautiful, charming chocolate bar. I'm assuming chocolate bar. Look at it, it's so stinking cute. The other side is beautifully in blue, and it's embossed with the maker of the chocolate. Mmm. I love the little fawn. <laughs> Yum. Really nice milk chocolate bar. 
great melty mouthfeel, nice chocolate flavor without being overly sweet, and almost kind of a buttery, a little bit vanilla flavor. Just delicious. Love that. Once again, thanks Little Misty for sending me this package of Hungarian treats. It was still delight. It was a nice kind of sampling of the chocolates that Hungary has to offer. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something. And I'll see you in my next video. Cheers. Take care. Bye. The beauty of a bento box, and any lunch box for that matter, is that it's endlessly customizable. So you can customize this to your or your child's taste. Don't like ham? Don't put ham. Don't like cheese? Don't put cheese. Put any snacks your kids will like. <coughs>